Hey everyone, Noik. Uh, this was a little video on the cast, on who I want to see casted, well, the characters in this, some cast men, but I want to be casting them, as well as a story. Now for Justice League Dark, I did put in a whole what exactly, um, I want, who I wanted for a director. And I usually like to have all this information, but only when I'm really certain on who I want. And for the cast, uh, the characters, and the story, I hadn't really thought that through. But for the director, I did. So if you want to check out that video, go ahead. But for this, I'm going to talk about characters, cast, and story. Alright, now we got a whole thing here. Go to Wikipedia just for information out there on... Well, just stuff there. Things going in, out, there. People, um, like, it, it seems to be going there. We have some people who were writing it, then it seems to get thrown out. Other people who are writing, and then directors, producers, all going. All right. Now, the and this isn't like, oh, this film's dead. This happens with films all the time. But it's just the general thing that people want to get across, and... Since they released the Justice League like animated movie, this is probably its idea also. Oh, what do people want to see in that? So let's go by what exactly characters I want to see. With John Constantine. Oh man, this thing's lagging. <laughs> oh, I'm not liking this lag. Not liking it at all. Just go on. Anyways, John Constantine, here we go. He's the general leader of the team. Uh, it's not the most powerful, but it's like his wit and the charm he has is what makes him this role. Now to play him, uh, do I even have to say it? Do I even have to say who we all want to play him? Matt Rock. You know, computer, you gotta not lag on me, please. Sorry about that. I kind of wanted to just put it out, but yeah. Matt Ryan. If we even go back to this here, let me find it. Here we go. So here's the the writing for it that was kind of like the name being thrown around there. Close that. Or, ah, oh, dang it. Alright, next is Zatanna. I'll just wait for this to come up. But she would be kind of, I guess, the Lancer of the group? You know, if you look at the five man band thing. Or, no, not the Lancer, I'm sorry. Uh, like, uh, she'd be the, I guess, Lancer and uh, the Brains. It's a little complicated, but she serves as also a good foil for jo John as their both their methods are just very opposite of each other. He's a more quick on your feet like thing guy who usually uses only magic in order to where who picked up magic and added it on to kind of his Connors thing. She's already magically gifted, but much more straightforward. She's old. She really sees a lot of black and white. He sees just gray. Or that the whole world is just black, and it's what you do with that. Anyways, for her, uh, Lacey Hamer, and I kind of actually do need this one to be fully up. Chapter. What? Oh. Now, there's a specific reason why, and once it's up, I will sh Oh, but for her, she was has actually voiced Zatanna in a number of DC things. I think it's three? I know she was young Justice. She voiced her there. She also voiced her for the Injustice games. And there could have been a third, 
but I'm not 100% positive, so I just want to go to photography. So there he is. She was her for Young Justice. Injustice Gone Amongst Us. Infinite Crisis. Okay, another game. And the current Justice League action. So four. There. So this does show good experience in it. There. Now for the next member is the boss. Bran, or Dead Man. He was a whole trapeze artist. Uh, he would kind of serve as the heart of the team as the one who's like what's the worst that can happen we die or something like that now for Boston I just want to get like an image up just so people can see him oh there we go now for Boston what I'm thinking for him would be good be a Wahlberg. Oh, dang it. Let me just press back quickly. There we go. And I'm honestly thinking Donnie, from what I've seen between him and Mark, Donnie is much more forward in it. If you've ever seen like the red Oni blue Oni joke, Donnie is much more of a red, so he's much more forward. I can see a bit more, like, up and at him personality, which you need more for Den Man. So, an up and at him Boston experience. That's Donnie Wahlberg. So that's who I want for Boston. Den Man. Next, Etrigan the Demon. Now, as well as, of course, his better half, Jason Blood. Uh, Jason Blood, now, usually the most thing we get from Jason Blood is he is a knight who, it's working just fine, you, anyways, Jason Blood is a knight who betrayed King Arthur, that seems to be the general thing, now if you look at the, oh my god, it's working fine, wait, sorry about that, Anyways, Jason Blood was a knight who betrayed King Arthur in the Camelot times. There. That is the general story that we have. It seems to be in pretty much all the comics interpretations. The only time I've seen it not be it was in the actual animated Justice League. Just, fuck it. It's not working. Why? I don't know. Anyways, Charles Dance. Uh, if you know... As he can incorporate both intimidating, uh, very also proud of himself. He's, as it says here, the shadows of bureaucrats are villains, which is kind of the personality you need for Jason, but he isn't. He is a hero. Anyways, he was a knight. So Jason Blood was a knight who usually betrays King Arthur. The only time I didn't really see this is in the whole Justice League Dark animated, so I don't know if they would change that up. But he gets bonded to the demon Etrigan. And then when he says the lines, Be gone, be gone, the form of men, arise the demon Etrigan. Also, Etrigan always rhymes. That is awesome. So I'm putting myself down for a stance for that role. Next, Alex Holland, or the Swamp Thing. Protector of the Green. He was a guy, he died in the swamp, and he ends up becoming... The Avatar of the Green, its protector. And there was a name that was going around that actually went for it there, Ron Perlman. People were like, either he should be Dark Side or he should be Swamp Thing. And I think Jeff Bridges is in talk for Dark Side. So with that 50% gone, let's. It's a, I don't know, it has to be 100% Swamp Thing. And if you saw him from. He already has also roles with um, Del Toro, who is going to be helping still with the film, as I said in the director video. 
as such, this would make it go good. Working like that. As well as, he has a lot of, uh, well, uh, he's kind of a DC already. Like he's working. Uh, Alright, so those would be the five main actual going through. But I feel like this team also needs that kind of backdrop, uh, Nick Fury or Amanda Waller character, and that would be Madame Zandau. Who, like Etrigan, has ties with Merlin. And I'm going to keep up and with her, Indra Varma, who, like, Etrigan will be played by someone who was in Game of Thrones. <laughs> But I feel that that was good. Now, the only one I have not thought of an actor for. I'm sorry, I just got the ad read. The only one I have not gone in thought of an actor, or more specifically, actress for, is our villain, Morgan Le Fay. Now, here, let me just go here. She's actually sisters with Madame Zeno, so this would work out good as. They have one more sister, the, I can't pronounce that there, and I'm not going to risk licking that. Ugh, whatever. Anyways, Morgan Le And they have one more sister who's the Lady of the Lake. There. Now, her I have not actually thought of, but... A British actress. A British actress went out there heard good. I can't. I was the one that really popped into my mind, but I felt for the story this would work out the best. Oh wait, hold on. You have the whole thing here. So, story. In now the general got for a story, and this is kind of all just bitballing notes. Morgan Le Fay, she's casting a spell of creating like some sort of dark purple mist that is just transforming people into almost like the Enchantress's villains. And this is going all over the place. Now, Zatanna has a cousin in the comics who kind of became her on and off again apprentice, or you know, part time is more. Just to kind of have an idea of magic so he can protect himself as well as keep the family trade alive. And he's going around and he's been tasked to find members who can help defeat this mist that Morgan Le Fay is printing out. He first finds John Constantine, then they get Etrigan, then Swamp Thing, before going to Zatanna, and then that's when it would be revealed. Dead man's actually possessing him. He's not dead at all. And there'd be like a little thing where nobody actually even calls him by that name. They just go you or something. So all the members know he's it's actually dead man possessing him. And then it's revealed that Madame Sadow was the one who actually sent Dead Man on this mission. And that she felt what her sister was going to be doing and that she explains long ago her so Zadow, Morgan and Jason Blood or Etrigan here actually plotted to betray well it would be Jason Blood sorry plotted a rebellion against Arthur in order to take over but were foiled by Arthur Merlin and um, Lady in the Lake. I can't remember her name for this. this. They were each like put limitations on them. Blood has to control himself, otherwise being taken over by the demons. Bloodlust. Le Fay and Zhao, however, they had their magic ripped away. But somehow, Morgan Le Fay has found magic again. And that's why Zedao has actually gone out in order to 
sent that man out in order to recruit. Because even though she hasn't, she was able to take on some less powerful like magic, just forge Italian, coming in almost one with the cosmos. And with it, she predicted that they need to find five beings in order to defeat her. She saw like the gardener, the hellfire, the spirit, the wizard, and the fool. And now you can guess who each one of these are, that they would be the ones in order to defeat. And that you would also have maybe like the cousin going like, you and the Justice League should team up and then them going, no, the League is, this isn't something the League can handle. They're only magical ones, only just know how to throw that magic around it as a weapon that they don't actually get what magic is, unlike them. They see magic as life, not a tool. So those five then go in and stop Morgan Le Fay, and they decide that maybe the world does need it. Anyways, that's just a very dumbed down version of how the story go. Pretty generic, but you would have be able to put your own little twist, uh, add some really good visuals. If you go back to who I had an idea for the director, I think you would see how that would work. Now we had the characters like Phantom, uh, the Spectre being mentioned a lot. I wouldn't see him there. The Spectre is the Wrath of God. This guy should be, um, like he's already big enough there. I could see that as like a sequel or a third film, but not your first because who can survive the Wrath of God? But that's just now a general idea on characters I want to see in it, with cast members to them, and then a very dumbed down story version. I'm not a writer. There. Alright then, if you like the ideas I have in this video, share the video to get word out. If you didn't like or didn't understand something, comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope you have a very great day.